Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing marriage in a K-1 fiancé visa context. And although this may seem like kind of a strange topic, this comes up more often than I would have otherwise thought when I first started dealing with U.S. immigration matters. And so basically, the K-1 fiancé visa is designed specifically for a fiancé. And as strange as this sounds, maybe to a layperson, getting married actually extinguishes your ability to get a K-1 fiancé visa. So the act of getting married nullifies anything you've done toward the end of getting that visa issued. So if midway through the K-1 fiancé process you get married, that nullifies your case. And simply getting a quick divorce does not remedy it. So once you're married, it, you're, you were nullified, and then you're nullified thereafter, you have to either refile as married, or if you get divorced, in theory, refile as a K-1 fiancé again. So generally speaking, this can have tremendous negative ramifications on an overall case. And this comes up a lot over here in Thailand. We, about every year or so, and, and I just got an inquiry on this from a client who said, well, I'm planning, we've already done ceremonial stuff. We're planning to do the legal registration before we leave with our K-1 visa for the United States. And I told them, don't do that because by registering that marriage before entering the United States, that person is no longer a K-1 fiance and therefore not eligible for that visa. So the thing to take away from this video, do not get married to your K-1 fiance until that K-1 fiance arrives in the United States and you, reg and you register, solemnize, however you deal with it, register that marriage according to the laws of the given state you're in, and then deal with adjustment of status thereafter. But do not get married before the K-1 K visa process is complete and you've entered the country in K-1 status. 